Hello, my name is Carlos Núñez, and today I am going to guide you through the Steelhead SAS optimization setup. First of all, let's go through the network requirements. The Steelhead appliance needs to have internet connectivity from the primary and in-bus interfaces. These Steelhead connections also need to be allowed from the firewall facing the internet. Outbound stateful TCP port 443 from the primary interface outbound stateful UDP port 9545 from the in-path interfaces, UDP port 123 from the primary interface, and TCP and UDP port 53 from the primary interface. Enable access from the Akamai Cloud Steelheads if access to the SaaS application is restricted to specific source IP addresses. For more details, please visit the KB article 16182. Now let's move to the cloud portal. As soon as Riverbed creates your license, you will receive your credentials via email, which will grant you access to the cloud portal. Let's navigate to SaaS platforms. The first thing that we will need to set up is the proxy certificate authority. This is the certificate that will be used to sign all the proxy certificates that will be deployed in the Akamai cloud steelheads. You will need to decide based on your requirements which mode to use. Cloud hosted mode will use a certificate authority managed by the cloud portal. This is a default configuration. The other mode is customer hosted mode. In this mode, you can use your own certificate authority to sign the proxy certificates. We're going to explore both modes in this video. Let's start with cloud hosted mode. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the proxy certificate authority section. If you choose cloud hosted mode, you need to make sure that this certificate is installed in all the computers or devices that will be optimized. Otherwise, they will receive a security warning. You can copy or download this certificate by clicking on this button and then using the download this certificate link. Save. To install the certificate in a single computer, open the certificate Click on Install Certificate. You can use current user or local machine. And here make sure that you install the certificate in the Trusted Root Certification Authorities folder. Next, finish, and the import of the certificate was successful. For large environments, it will make sense to use Active Directory group policies to install the certificate to all the users. The next step will be to create the proxy certificates for each of the SaaS platforms that we want to optimize. As an example, we will select Office 365. First, make sure that acceleration is enabled for the platform. You will see here a list with all the different host names that can be optimized. For each of the host names, you will need to request a proxy certificate. You may need all or only some of them. It will depend on your requirements. We need to request a new proxy certificate. In this case, I already have one installed, so the cloud portal is asking me to confirm if I want to create a new one. In the background, the cloud portal will make sure that the certificate is created and propagated globally. Note that this process can take up to one hour. In the meantime, let's jump into the other option for the proxy certificate authority, customer hosted mode. In this case, you need to select customer hosted mode and you will use your own certificate authority to sign the proxy certificates. The certificate authority certificate also needs to be installed in all the devices accessing the service following the same process that I explained earlier. The first step in this mode will be to complete the details under Settings and Certificate Settings. Without these details, you will not be able to create the certificates. Next, we will go back to the SaaS Platform section. And here, we will select the platform that we want to optimize. 
we can see that the options are different from cloud hosted mode. The process will consist in generating a new CSR, downloading it, sign the CSR with your own certificate authority, and then upload the certificate back to the cloud portal. When signing the CSR with your certificate authority, please make sure that you sign them including the option server authentication under the enhanced key usage field. Note that requesting a CSR and uploading it to the cloud portal may take some time, so please be patient during the process. We will need to repeat this action for all the host names that we want to optimize. After the proxy certificates have been configured, let's take a look into the secure peering section. If the internal Steelhead Appliance peering certificates are signed by a certificate authority, upload the CA public certificate in the secure peering page. If the internal Steelhead Appliance peering certificates are self-signed, enable the checkbox Trust Enterprise Steelhead Peering Certificates. Now let's take a quick look into the Steelhead configuration part. Steelhead needs to be running Rios 9.1 or later. Ensure that the Steelhead has enough capacity to optimize the extra SAS connections. Enable and configure NTP to point to at least two NTP servers that are synced within one minute of exact time. Enable and configure DNS settings to point to at least two DNS servers that can resolve internet names. And enable simplified routing all if the in-path gateway is on the one side, or use the LAN side gateway. This demo is using a steelhead running Rios 971. If you are running a different version, please review the checklist KB article at the bottom of the video, which contains updated information for other versions. The first step will be to enable HTTP optimization. For Office 365 SharePoint optimization, we recommend using the following options. Click on Apply. The next step will be to enable SSL optimization. We click on Enable SSL optimization box and click Apply. We need to verify that the Steelhead Appliance has a valid secure peering certificate. Go to the secure peering section and verify that the certificate is still valid. For Office 365, we will also need to enable MAPI optimization. We need to enable MAPI exchange optimization, Outlook Anywhere optimization, auto-detect Outlook Anywhere connections, we also need to enable encrypted optimization in NTLM transparent mode and also MAPI over HTTP optimization. Click on Apply. We will now access the CLI and enter the following command. With this command, the steelhead will bypass the traffic from devices which do not have the proxy CA certificate installed. Now we will configure an impasse rule that will allow us to optimize only the IP addresses related to the Steelhead SaaS service. We click on Add a new impasse rule. We leave type auto discover. In source, we select the IP address or subnets that we want to optimize. Destination subnet, we will select host label and Cloud Axel SAS, Latency Optimization Policy Exchange Auto Detect. We confirm that the Cloud Acceleration is set to Auto, and then we put the rule at the beginning of the list. We add the rule. And now we save the configuration and restart the services. The next step will be to register the Steelhead with the Cloud Portal. 
need to access optimization SAS Cloud Accelerator. Here we need to enter the key that we can obtain from the Cloud Portal. In the Cloud Portal, we need to go to Appliance Registration Key. We copy the value of the key, paste it in the box, and click on Register. We'll need to go back to the Cloud Portal, Enterprise Steelheads. Our steelhead will appear in the pending service list. We need to select it and click on Grant Service. Now we go back to the steelhead. We enable Cloud Acceleration, click on Apply. A few seconds later, we will see that the service is ready and redirection active. We also need to make sure that optimization is enabled for all the relevant SaaS platforms. And with this, we finish the configuration of Steelhead SaaS. From now on, you will be able to optimize your SaaS traffic. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon again.